Hi, and welcome to the ninth episode of Taste Buds. I'm Sinan. And I'm Ralph. And today we're gonna to be making a frozen mocha cappuccino cake. The first thing we have to do is make a cream sauce. Now, in a medium saucepan, you're gonna add one pint of whole milk. One pint of heavy whipped cream. A fourth cup of granulated sugar. And three tablespoons of either instant espresso or instant cappuccino, but today we'll be using instant cappuccino. Now we want, what you want to do with the cream sauce is put it on the stove on low heat for three to five minutes. While also stir stirring it. Stirring continuously. All this is going to do is make the cream warm. We don't want to actually cook anything just yet. After they're going to heat up for about five minutes, you've seen that the entire mixture has become a smooth cream sauce. Now what we have to do, we have to let it cool for about five minutes before we can actually dip the ladyfingers in. Now we're going to transfer the sauce to a large bowl. This is just to make sure that it cools even more in the next few minutes. Now we're going to take, or it's not an eye, going to take, a cup of light lady fingers, about eight at a time, six to eight at a time. We're going to let them soak in the sauce for about three minutes. This is going to make sure that they shrink and we can fix it, we can uh, put it inside the pan. Now that it's been three minutes, we're going to take lady fingers and place them inside the bowl. Now that they're soft, we can maneuver them. To make a single layer on the pan. You don't want to get to the double layer yet. We're going to save those for the other lady fingers. If they aren't fitting, you can cut off some, um, a part of the edge so they'll fit nicely. Okay, now that we've made a single layer of lady fingers, what we're going to add to this, we're going to add three tablespoons of coarsely chopped, semi-sweet, or dark chocolate chips. And th this will just make a thin layer of chocolate in between each layer of, of lady fingers. It's two and a third. And on top of that, we're going to take two tablespoons of chocolate syrup. Spread it all around. The next thing we're going to add after the chocolate syrup is one cup of dark chocolate ice cream. Now this chocolate ice cream is taken close on creamery. It's the Ghirardelli chocolate ice cream. It's very delicious. So this is a pint, and a pint is two cups, so we're only going to get half of this at a time in between layers. Now what's nice about this ice cream is we let it out before we started so that it could melt a little so it's easier to scoop. Because what's going to happen is when we're done, we're going to put this back in the freezer to let it freeze for an hour. So it's okay if the chocolate ice cream is a little bit on the warm side. Okay, so after we've added the ice cream, the chocolate chips, and the syrup, we're going to add another layer of ladyfingers. So what we're going to do is we're going to soak some more. Every layer is going to be the same. We're going to have the same three tablespoons of chocolate chips, two tablespoons of chocolate syrup, and another cup of chocolate ice cream. And You're going to do this until the pan is completely full. And seeing the way that we're going right now, this will probably be our fi final layer. Mm -hmm. Should be good. That layer. Okay, and now we're going to repeat the process with the chocolate chips, the syrup, and the ice cream. If you need for the final layer, you think that um, three tablespoons may be a little too much, the ice cream may overflow. You have to put the entire three tablespoons or the two tablespoons of the cup use as much as needed. We have the syrup. It's all around there, yeah. and the ice cream. You gotta use the spoon. Yeah. So you can spread that around a little bit. Yeah. 
You don't want lumps of ice cream in the cake. You want to have a smooth, fine layer. Get that off. Right? Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Ralph. Yep, no problem. You're my best friend. When we made the final layer, we're going to put some plastic wrap on top, and we're going to place it in the freezer until it all freezes. Now we decided to use our cake as more of a sundae, so we didn't leave it in the freezer for enough time for it to fully solidify. So what we're just going to do is we're going to open it up and start scooping it into a wine glass. It's like a sundae. Now you can see all these layers of the chocolate chips, the syrup, and the ice cream. Came out, came out nice now, right? Delicious. Delicious. At this time, we'd like to thank our sponsor, IVFHelp.com. If you need help with the college application process, head on over to IVFHelp.com today. If they can get into college, so can you. I'm Sonon Osmer. And I'm Ralph Conservo. Thanks for watching the ninth episode of Taste Buds. Later. What are you doing? Stop watching the credits. Go to IVFHelp.com right now and get into college. Head on over to shedlerproductions.com forward slash taste buds where you can watch this episode and others right in your web browser. You can also take a behind the scenes look at what goes into the making of the show. Remember, that's shedlerproductions.com forward slash taste buds. Thanks for watching.